Hey, what's up guys, Tony Dubs here, and many months ago I had a Windows 10 uh, black screen issue, and now we're in April 2000, well now May uh, 2018, and the recent April um, update from Windows 10, the 1803, has again, nothing has changed and the same screwed up stuff has been happening. I just want to quickly show you the fix, um, and I previously posted this on forums, but I've never actually made a video on the fix, apart from me complaining and swearing at Windows. Now, the, the reason why is because I've got an Intel iGPU and an Intel processor, and I've got an NVIDIA graphics card, and I've, I've heard from previous people that this also happens on laptops, and it also happens on AMD graphics cards as well. So what you'll first notice is when you boot up the PC, um, what happens is that uh, you'll have a black screen, and all you will see is nothing until you see a blue screen error like so, which I took a picture, it doesn't really show, but anyway, it's on my phone. You get a blue screen, and then it'll restart. Now, when it restarts, you want to spam the delete key or whatever the uh, BIOS key is uh, on your computer. I would suggest Googling it if you're not sure on your on your phone or whatnot. Uh, it can be F2, it can be Tab, it can be F11, and but the most common on... Uh, modern desktop uh, computers is the delete key. Once you go into there, you will want to go into the BIOS, um, and I'll show you that in just a bit, and make the iGPU the primary GPU. Then, when you launch up into Windows, you'll uh, be able to go into Device Manager and uh, enable the Intel graphics cards HD 4000 in my case, or whichever it is uh, in yours. Now. This might be seeming a bit weird for some people who might have not disabled or enabled it, but it's just something that you should do and force it to go via the iGPU in order to display um, your your to your monitor. Another thing is if you're on a laptop, this you won't have the choice of displaying it on a monitor or whatnot. It will automatically pop up. Well, at least that is the what well, I, I hope. And secondly, the thing you shouldn't forget is uh, from your display, you'll need an, a display input. Now, previously in the past, I only had one display input. It was only DVI-D monitors, a QNIX monitor. In this case, this Acer monitor has two, uh, well, several inputs, but two inputs. One is DisplayPort, which is currently disconnected, as you can see there, that goes into my graphics card. And the second one is HDMI, which goes directly into my motherboard. That is the very key function that you're going to need, is the direct input into your motherboard. So now what I'm going to do is um, go and uh, restart and uh, span the delete key as I'm restarting in order to go um, to the BIOS. Now as I've just told you there, I've um, enabled the um, iGPU so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but I just want to show you this um, the, the, the function uh, within, the, um, uh, within the BIOS. Now let's see if it picks it up. Uh, normally it should do. Uh, via HDMI because that's the primary uh, iGPU source. So you can see right now I am in my BIOS. Now in, the, uh, in my BIOS, now every BIOS will look a little bit different. In mine it's in advanced settings, system agent, and it's got graphic configuration. Over here you can see the primary display and you've got an auto, you've got iGPU, and then you've got PCIe. So you have to go on the iGPU setting, then go into save changes, and then it's going to boot up. Now remember it's plugged in directly into your motherboard, that's what you're going to need it to do. Uh, so it has to be plugged into your motherboard in order for the display to actually pick up. So I'm just going to quickly pan the camera down as I, as I um, or pan the camera up, shall I say, and then uh, do my password settings. It's just, um, it's, it's, it's a pretty simple fix, but it's something that really annoys me is that why do I have to do it each time I get a major Windows update? It makes no sense to me. So I'm just signing in. So now I have signed into my Windows uh, PC. Now from the Windows PC, now I need to go back into Device Manager. So go into Start and type in Device Manager. Then within Device Manager now, this seems a bit weird for some people, but what you're going to do is right click on uh, um, Intel Graphics HD, whatever it is, 4000 in my case, and go uh, Disable Device. You're going to hit Disable and press Yes, and it's going to do that. And what it should do, when you restart it, it's going to completely, uh, so right now you can see, if I right click, well hopefully you can see it says enable device, so it's clearly disabled. So right now, there you go, it's now updated, it's got the disabled sign, you're going to go on restart again. Now this time restart, we're going to go back into the BIOS, and this time we're going to go as the primary device as the PCIe, which is the graphics card. So we're just going to hit the delete key several times. 
Again, the primary device right now is still the iGPU because the BIOS picks it up as the iGPU, but once it launches into Windows, it won't pick up the um, iGPU because you've disabled the device. So right now I should be going into the BIOS, but as I've disabled iGPU, I need to plug in my DisplayPort. I should be in the BIOS right now. Let's see. No signal, great. <laughs> Let's just hit the hard reset button. And try and go back into the bus. There you go, now into the bus. I don't know which inputs are at the moment, but nevertheless, it doesn't really matter. We want to go into System Agent, again Graphics, and PCIe. Now exit, save and change, and reset. That's not resetting your BIOS by the way, it's just resetting um, the screen. So now what I can do is um, plug out um, HDMI. So it's HDMI out. And right now you can see it is outputting via dis um, DisplayPort. I'm just going to pan it up again for my password sake. And hopefully we get to sign in. And there we go. And now we are signed in back into Windows. And we can confirm by going back into Device Manager. And the HD 4000 graphics are disabled. There you go. HD, gra HD 4000 graphics are disabled. And that is the fix. So when you have this black screen error on any Windows update, but the major Windows updates is where it really happens, then you're going to have to do this every single time I go through it, every single time I curse the PC, and every single time I don't understand why a modern day GTX 1080 and arguably a third generation Intel core processor, which is relatively old, but still very much relevant, has to go through this process every single time. But that is it, that is the fix. After that, just continue using your PC as always. Obviously, IGP won't be the primary um, dis um, graphics display, it will be your um, graphics card, your dedicated graphics card like GTX 1080 in this respect. And that's it, that's pretty much it guys. Now, let me know in the comments below what you find, uh, if you find fixes or whatnot, let me know. If you've got any problems, let me know, I'll try and help you out and troubleshoot uh, wherever I can. But there's only so much I know about this problem other than the one I figured out, um, thanks to some guys on some forums. I, I wanna say nearly three to four years ago, it's been that long. All right guys, I've been totally dubbed. Take care and bye-bye.